Meanwhile, the Ghana Plastic Manufacturers Association has called for the ban on all imported plastic flexible products. President of the association, Ebo Butre, at a stakeholders forum in Accra noted about 62% of plastic flexibles on the market are imported and not OXO biodegradable compliant. According to the president of the Ghana Plastic Manufacturers Association, Ebo Boche, its members complied with a directive from the Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation Ministry in 2015 to use oxo-biodegradable additive in the manufacturing process. Government should quickly do the right thing, the right thing, by banning all imported plastic flexible products which are not oxo bio compliant. If you bring in plastic flexibles, which is not oxo compliant, you cannot bring in here. At right at the port, it should be seized and destroyed. He, however, bemoaned the influx of imported plastics, which he said is impacting negatively on local production. The quantity of Chinese imports are increasing by the day. More Chinese nationals are setting up just warehouses and importing finished plastic products for retailing. So it makes the imported plastic bags, films and sheets so very cheap that it makes it impossible for local manufacturers to compete. Senior Revenue Officer Roger Gardiner said the Ghana Revenue Authority Customs Division is procuring gadgets that will enable them to identify various forms of plastics that contain the additive. With the master batches, the OBDs, the um, oxobiodegradable additives to the plastics, okay, some of them come in and they are misclassified. All right, It gives us the difficulty or, or makes it's very difficult to classify it and like levy the correct duty. So sometimes they wrongly classify because they want to somehow divert or like reduce their, their, their cost, see, on, on various taxes. Chief Program Officer of Environmental Protection Agency, Godson Vuado, underscored the need for a national plastic management policy.